Hello everyone and welcome to my new dolly paint video. Lately I've seen on the internet that Audrey Hepburn has become the most stylish woman of the 20th century. Honestly, I have no idea why it is still busy with all this most beautiful, most stylish, something else most elegant of the 20th century. Well, we're in 2019 already and it's almost the middle of the 21st century, guys. But anyway, in this case I can kinda agree with the result of this retro award because Audrey Hepburn was for sure the most stylish, the most iconic, the most recognizable and you know, in my head everything is YouTube and dolls related so I thought immediately, hmm, and why I've never made an Audrey Hepburn doll on my channel? So here we are, today we are going to make an Audrey Hepburn doll as you could see already from the thumbnail and please let me know here in the comment section down below who else you want to see on my channel made in a doll format I don't know, what actor, actress, singer, youtuber, influencer, whatever who else I should make here? I really promise you I'm going to count all your results and the top 3 dolls will appear on my channel very soon. And right now let's dive in into this makeover and let's start working. Let's go! For this transformation I will use Cleo Denial doll because she has a little bit more similarity in her face than the other Monster High dolls. Of course, she doesn't look exactly the same, but at least the jawline and the skull bones are pretty similar. So first I will prepare this doll for customizing and I've removed already her outfit and cut her hair as short as it was possible. To make her head soft I blow in it with hot air for 2-3 minutes and then I can easily easily take it off and pull the rest of the hair together with the melted glue from the inside of the head. Now let's take acetone and remove her makeup. And then I'm going to give her beautiful dark brown hair. By the way, I wanted to show you my new very handy rerouting tool. It's made of wood and it's very light compared to my another tool. And here's this texture you see on the handle, it can kinda hurt your fingers. And the wooden one feels amazing in my hand and my fingers don't get hurt, they don't get tired at all, really amazing. So this is her new hair and now I still want to give her bangs because I'm going to recreate the iconic look from breakfast at Tiffany's. And it's better to make bangs before you add glue, then it will dry immediately in the right position and it will be at least a little bit easier to style it because cutting bangs is mainly very tricky and the hair just stands straight so today you will see it all in the end of this video but I will try to make at least some steps to avoid it or to make it a little bit easier for me but it's not gonna help I tell you <laughs> then I add tacky glue inside of the head spread it there nicely and I let it dry for 24 hours Ok, the glue seems dry to me and now I can protect the doll's hair, clean the face with acetone the last time to remove, you know, all the grease and possible glue traces and then I spray the face with three layers of Mr. Super Clear sealant to prepare the surface for drawing on it. And of course for this repaint I will use mainly natural, even kind of nude pastel colors. When the surface is sealed I take a pencil and caput mortum color and I sketch the eyes. And here you can see the reference picture that I'm going to use today. Then I draw the eyebrows and I can tell that even the eyebrows of Audrey Hepburn are completely iconic. This is exactly the shape they call trendy nowadays this season. If we take 
take a look at the reference picture, we will see that the biggest differences between the picture and the doll's face are in the nose shape, because Audrey had very high cut nostrils, and also the doll's nose is much shorter. And also the actress on the picture has a very lovely smile on her face, while the corners of the doll's lips pulled seriously down. So I will need to work on it seriously today, trying to change both of them and to give the nose and the lips at least a little bit of similarity. We know that the actress is smiling not just because of the corners of her lips that are going up, but also because she has deeper smiling lines. So let's make them as well, but it's very important to not make them too deep, otherwise she will look too old. And the original lip corners that we don't need anymore, I'm going to hide by highlighting them. Now I'm going to add shading to the eyelids, to the sides of her nose and to the sides of her face, according to what I see on the reference picture. Now I also want to highlight the upper parts of her cheeks, because when we are smiling our cheeks go automatically up and because of this they reflect more light. And this step I will need to repeat again a couple of times, because this sealant will make the light pastels almost invisible and transparent. And then I also add light blush to her face. Now I can take my pencils and start working on her eyes and eyelids. And I use, like always, Faber Castell Albrecht Dürer watercolor pencils and also a couple of new Caran d'Ache Super Color Soft also watercolor pencils. I add some darker hair to her eyebrows and I will do it every next layer again and again and like this the eyebrows will look pretty natural in the end. With the white pencil I add reflections to her lips and then I can seal this layer again with Mr. Super Clear. Now let's work more detailed on her eyes and add more shadowing and color accents. Then I'm going to take a very light pencil and highlight literally everything that needs to be highlighted according to the reference picture. And now it's time for lashes and for black eyeliner! To 
To finish up her face, I add reflections to her eyes with white acrylic paint. Now let's work on her body and first of all with the standard flexibility of the joints, this doll will not be able to pose like Audrey Hepburn on the original picture. That's why I've decided to increase again the flexibility of the joints using my fresh invented technique. I've tried it already in my last video when I've made the Aquarius doll and the idea is actually to cut all the plastic that is staying on the way when you try to bend the joints. I think the difference is quite clear. You can see now this doll has become much more poseable, so let's modify the second arm in the same way and then increase the flexibility of the knees using the same method. Then I sand the complete body to remove the glossy top from it and clean it with an acetone-free nail polish remover. After this I spray the doll with three layers of Mr. Super Clear and I blush it with the same pastels like I used to blush her face. Now let's remove the protection from her hair and put the head and the body back together. Now I want to recreate the hairstyle from the reference picture and I begin with brushing her hair very well. Sorry guys, I styled her hair off camera using these kind of hair pins because you just must hold the doll between your knees while doing such a hairstyle and then you just cannot film yourself and the doll in such a position. So now we need to make her bangs flat and this is extremely challenging like I told you already in the beginning. I really don't like doing it because it takes hours before you reach some decent result. And this time we're going for very, 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 very short bangs. And this time I cut it much longer than it should be. And you can see how it immediately stands straight. So I will keep working and the next step is using hair elastics, hairspray, and then again drying it with a hair dryer. Then I think I can trim the bangs a bit shorter, closer to what it should be and you can see it jumps up again. I told you making doll bangs and especially very short bangs is always a long suffering.
Then I finally decided that I need to curl her bangs a little bit down, like it is on the picture. So I've invented a serious Frankenstein technique for it, but this didn't really work that good though. But it looks really cool. So I've invented another method and this one works already perfectly. You know, I always knew you could do a lot with a hairdryer and with tweezers. I remember one time I've even fixed some wires in a phone just using my tweezers when I was a teenager. So now I think it looks pretty good. And let's finally attach the lashes, add glossy varnish to her eyes and lips, and now we can finally move on and make the accessories and the outfit. And in the movie, Audrey Hepburn wears a black dress designed by Givenchy, especially for her. But I think my mom is also a little bit Givenchy, so she has made a mini copy of this dress, and here it is. And also a pair of long gloves, of course. Then I'm going to make for her the same gorgeous necklace, and to create it I will use crystals and beads and a piece of thin wire. The original necklace has five strings of beads on it, but on this tiny doll it will look way too massive, so I will make two rows of beads around her neck and I think it's gonna look good. Her hair I decorate with a silver crown and she also needs some pretty crystal earrings. I modify a little bit the heels of Frankie's original shoes and then I paint them black to make them look classy. And the very last detail is the cigarette holder, and to make it I will use the regular Q-tips. First I remove the cotton from the both sides of it. Then I paint it with golden acrylic paint, and then I cover the end of it with black acrylics. And then using a piece of paper I make some imitation of a cigarette and I insert it inside of the holder. So here is the end result of our transformation today, and what do you think? Now it's your turn to share your thoughts in the comments. By the way, I had so much fun reading the comments under my last video. So many Aquarians are here. And strangely enough, just very few people could guess it right. My zodiac sign is Aries, and it means I will make my own sign doll already very soon, because I'm planning to post one zodiac doll per month. And also, please don't forget to tell me which famous person doll should I make on my channel. Who do you really want to see here? And I will read the comments and count the votes. And also, like I told you already lately, I will not sell my dolls online till the beginning of March. Because in the end of February, I'm going to Dubai Makers Fair with my dolls and with my workshops. So I'm collecting dolls now to have something with me there in Dubai. And the next week, by the way, it's going to be the Valentine's special. So please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and to hit the bell button. 
because last week, for example, YouTube just didn't show my video in the subscriptions at all. It was some glitch, I don't know, I couldn't see it myself on my own channel page. So be sure to hit that, that bell button, really. Then you will see my videos even when YouTube is completely against us. And please also give this video a like if you think that it might be interesting for other people as well. And that was it for today. Have fun, make art, and I will see you here already soon next week Friday. Bye!